Welcome to the garden. The terrarium is really looking incredible. The ferns are unfurling. They have these beautiful fiddleheads. We have one that's really starting to grow quite tall. And then two others that are very quickly sprouting up. That's the large fern, and the smaller fern is taking a little bit more time. Although this was first to pop up, it hasn't unfolded its leaves yet. It's still that little fiddlehead. But there are two little sprouts. There's another one right there by that strawberry and that little dandelion. So I'm really excited to watch those grow too. My little isopod is still alive. So I'm hoping that he'll just eat dying debris, any rotting leaves or mold. So it's all really well balanced. Looks incredible. The creeping Charlie is really growing tall. You can see it's almost an inch above the jar. And these really don't get much taller than this. It's probably going to flower. And in fact, down low, there is a flower. That little purple, beautiful little creeping Charlie flower. I've been watching this change every single day. It's absolutely amazing. Every day we get more growth on the ferns. Every day we get new sprouts shooting up all over the place. These all get taller and thicker and fuller. They're starting to kind of compete for space, which is exactly what I wanted. I really wanted to pack it in so that all the plants would just fill the entire jar. Ferns are definitely one of my favorite plants, so to grow one inside has been just such a delight. And they're perfect for terrariums because they love moisture. Ferns and mosses, I think, were the best choice as far as plants go. But the Creeping Charlie with these flowers, it's such a beautiful little purple color. I just love it. Ferns look incredible. They are getting a little tall, but they do soften up after they unfurl, so I should be able to kind of tuck them into the jar. And our Creeping Charlie flowered over in this corner looks absolutely beautiful. But because I've been leaving the lid off, it's actually a little dry. We've got some mosses that look pretty dry, and some of them are actually yellowing. They can rehydrate really quickly though. So we're just gonna give this a little drink. I'm gonna be using a spray bottle with just normal tap water. If you're worried about water spots on the glass, you can use distilled or boiled and cooled water. When you boil the water, it precipitates all the dissolved minerals. That's that white film you get on the side of the pan. So then just let that cool and then that's good to use in terrariums. But I'm just going to use my normal tap water because I want the water to seep down into the soil and then it'll evaporate and leave those behind in the soil anyways. So let's just give it a little drink. It's actually going to soak the stuff that looks really dry, the mosses. But this is a good time to clean everything up if you've got stuff shooting up from the ground 
it can have soil and sand on it. I'm going to wet down these ferns. Clean off that uh, papery covering they had. And it's easy to overdo it, so I'm going to be very careful. A nice even soak across the entire jar is going to ensure that we don't have dry spots. So I'm really just saturating everything here. You can see our other fern, this little guy, really isn't doing much compared to the other one. The large one is really doing incredible. Not only do we have these beautiful triplet here, but there's two more forming down at the base. Right in there, there's two more little fiddleheads. Just look how gorgeous these are. This morning, this one was actually pressed against the lid of the jar. Because I like to keep the lid on overnight. But they're getting so tall. And they, they do a lot of their growing, I think, overnight and early in the morning. I've done time lapse, and they definitely slow down uh, mid-morning and into the afternoon. So I found that to be a little interesting. But they're certainly filling out the jar. I think I might have overdone it. I was a little ambitious with this fern. And I probably should have picked something smaller as the centerpiece. But it is extraordinary. It just would have been nice to have a little bit more space. But we'll see how they fill in. They get very soft and kind of arc. So I'm hoping they'll kind of arc around and I'll be able to tuck them in so that it all fits. So everything should spring back to life. The yellowing moss is over here, should be okay. I'm hoping it's just a little drying out and not maybe an acidity issue because I did use potting soil with peat moss, which may have a little bit more acidity than the uh, mosses are used to. But we'll see how this springs back. So I hope you stay tuned and see how this turns out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.